Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to my exploration of the Conjuration Tree in Ordinator. All right, so here we are, knee deep in the College of Winterhold quest line, and hopefully, what that's going to do for us is give us access to much-needed upgraded spells. Um, now, I don't remember. Did I grab some spells last time? Let's take a look here. Yeah, we did. Okay. So, we got the Bound Bow. We started running out of money, too, so that wasn't... That wasn't ideal. But, we did get the Bound Bow. We might play around with that a little bit. Um, I don't know. Uh, Conjure Dramora Champion, which should be great. Uh, power attack. It's power attacks deal bonus damage and knock targets airborne. So that sounds like a, a melee tanky character, uh, or summon. I mean, <clears throat> um, and then this is the big one, the Frost Atronach. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. That will give us a tankier Atronach. Uh, it will take um, advantage of the perk that we, or the perks in the Conjuration Tree that affect Atronachs and Dramora only. Um, and it will uh, give us a different type of, uh, of damage. It will, they will do frost damage and uh, a lot of more melee damage than the, uh, the flame Adronox that we have. Um, I still want to see what this daemon thing does. Um, we might go ahead and experiment with that right now. Why not, huh? Um, and then this teleportation. Mark and recall. I'm really not sure what mod that comes from. Um, I am running Apocalypse spells, but I can't think of any other any other mod that I'm running that would have added that in, and I, I'm not familiar with that with that spell from from Apocalypse. So we'll we'll mess around with that. Um, what else? Yeah, we're not going to mess around with with any of that. Um, I do have a patch installed for Boethia's um, Daedric quest. Um, that works between uh, Winter Sun and uh, the book here that triggers the quest. Um, we're not going to go down that route just yet because uh, I want to explore Azura a little further. Um, <clears throat> and I don't want to jump around too much. I want to be able to focus on certain things uh, in as limited a scope as possible. We're, we're trying to keep our focus narrow here. Um, but we will definitely get to this. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and try that daemon. We'll, we'll mess around with the with the daemon spell. What was that? Summon daemon? Conjure daemon? Wow, now that I learned it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I was going to say now that I learned it, I have no idea where it went. Okay, what does this thing do? Let's try casting it in a single hand first. Okay, it's a sword. Kind of a cool looking sword. I wonder if this is added in by one of my weapon mods, because these uh, these look like pretty high quality models here. Maybe a Billy Rowe thing? I do have his mods installed, which add uh, very high quality weapon models uh, throughout the game. Um, you can't really craft them, you gotta just happen upon them through exploration. So this might be what that is. Um, of course I have no idea what the stats are on these things. And I don't know if they count as a bound weapon. But maybe we can mess around with that, let's see. Okay, it looks like they do, actually. I wonder if they do more damage than, than the regular bound blades that we have going. Let's take a look at our active effects and see if we can find anything on this. Blah, blah, blah. Summon Daemon. Summons the sword Daemon for 298 seconds. She the to dispel. Yeah, it doesn't help me out much, does it? I'll have to do some research on this. In fact, I'm going to make a note of it presently, so please bear with me. Okay. 
All right, so I will have that research uh, completed for the next episode. How about that? Um, seems like a pretty good sword, though. Uh, if it's uh, giving us that, that perk to dispel or dismiss Daedra, summon Daedra, it probably... Oops. It's probably going to give us the rest of the perks, too. Which, let's take a look at those. Ooh, and we have a level up, too. Let's go ahead and work with that. <clears throat> okay, so... Conjuration... Uh, Rend from this world. This is the perk that these blades are giving us. Um, so, we're probably also getting the Soul Trap effect. Um, I don't know... Bound weapon spells. Now, I'm not sure we're getting this one. I think it's a very specific weapon that it's that it's conjuring. Might still be getting the void burn effect, um, hollow binding, dark whispers, and covenant of cold harbor, which buff summoned weapons a whole lot. So why don't we go ahead and, and mess around with this for a little bit? Let's go ahead and add that to our favorites and. Uh, let's see. I'm using the Gamepad++ mod still, and I'm, I'm still very uh, new to uh, its remapping. Um, okay, so now we're looking at Bound Sword is number four. Let's change that to Summon Daemon at four. Okay, so let's equip that. We have flames in one hand. We can summon this bad boy up. There we go. It's kind of cool, right? Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to be experimenting with this. This is probably not going to be my uh, my main weapon going forward. I just I just kind of want to learn about it. Um, this is an exploration series, so I'm going to explore this spell. Um, but since it's not uh, a vanilla spell, or something that's added in by Ordinator, I think it's not added in by Ordinator, um, I probably won't use it most of the time. Um, just because I, I want this to be an Ordinator guide and not a, uh, a heavily modded uh, guide that's very specific to the mods that I have installed. I want, it, I want it, the stuff that I find here to work for everybody. Okay. So that's cool. Um, now let's mess around with that teleport spell. I hope we don't wake up the uh, fellow students here. It's like midnight right now or 1 a.m. Um, in the game. Uh, I yearn for the simpler days of being a student <laughs> myself. Um, okay, so that was in the alteration tree, which is over here. Teleport. Mark and recall. I have no idea how this works, and it's not very descriptive, is it? It looks like it is a dual cast only spell. Okay, so we just marked where we're at. So now let's try a recall here. Okay, and then we get a chance to teleport to the marker or move it to where we're at. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is um, it, it seems very useful on the surface, sort of like um, the first thing that comes to my head is, is sort of like an emergency recall type thing. So like say you are uh, getting ready to dive into a dungeon and you're not sure how, how nasty it's going to be in there. You go ahead and cast your mark um, outside of the dungeon, and then if you get into trouble, you can cast it again. And then, boom, you're out of there. The issues that I see with this is that it takes for the cast time is forever. It takes several seconds. If you're getting beaten on and you have low health, which are probably the two main reasons you want to teleport out of there, and you uh, try to cast this spell, you're probably going to die. 
So that's not great. Um, this is probably more useful for exploration. And by that I mean, say, like, you're up at the top of a mountain and you see something off in the distance and you don't want to go through the whole trail. Um, you don't want to take the whole journey all the way down just to have it end in uh, a disappointing uh, payoff. Um, you can hop down the mountain and then if you decide you want to reverse course and back up to where you were, uh, you just cast a spell and boom, you're back on top of the mountain. Now, um, this is also going to be much more useful if if we can teleport through loading screens. Because this allows us to sort of have a, a home mythol effect without having to take the perks. Okay, so that's nice. Um, that's another one that, uh, that I'm going to have to do some research on where that came from. What's this spell called again? Just teleport? And then I'm going to note that it just says mark and recall. Okay, so I don't mind going over modded spells as long as they're sort of limited to uh, the very major ones. In this case, uh, Apocalypse Spell Package. I don't know what other mod that I have that would have added that in, but again, I don't remember seeing it. Um, we probably will still take the home Mythal perk and mess around with that, uh, just because uh, this is an Ordinator explanation or exploration. This is not uh, an Apocalypse exploration. Um, so anybody who's running Ordinator without Apocalypse, I, I want this to be useful. So we will we will definitely still take those perks. Um, speaking of those perks, let's see if we can take them now. I know that our next focus was going to be on the Alteration skill tree. Um, we do have 90. So we can take Home Mythal and we can take Dimension Door, but we wanted to be back at uh, Ryx End for that. Okay, so let's put that on our to-do list for this episode. Also on the to-do list is um, retrieving books for Urag regarding uh, the Eye of Magnus that we now have in the Hall of Elements. Um, so before we do all that, I kind of want to pray to Azura because in Winter Sun, um, there's some nice synergy here for, for, this character's, for this character type that Azura gives. So let's see if we can find... Okay, Blessing of Azura. This one's pretty good. Um, this is the Shrine Blessing that we get for praying at the new Shrine of Azura um, that's added by Winter Sun. It resists 10% magic for however long. Um, in this case, four hours. We're going to lose that pretty quickly um, based on what we do next. Um, but we also have... Uh, as a follower of Azura, we have a permanent buff to our um, magic resistance reduction uh, to enemies within 40 feet, which is great synergy with uh, the alteration skill tree that we have uh, and the fact that we're casting magic casting minions in the form of Atronox. So that is awesome. Um, and the more that we pray to Azura and the more that we follow her tenets, which are trapping souls. Um, I don't know if you have to trap them directly into Azura's star. That thing's still empty because we have a ton of empty soul gems that we've been trapping into. Um, <clears throat> but as we pray and as we uh, trap more souls, explore new locations um, and pray at twilight, um, Will will gain more favor, and that will that effect will become stronger in synergy with the stuff that we already have in the alteration tree, which is um, spellblade. 
cast a spell with one hand. Energy Royal. When you cast a spell with one hand, reduces the armor of nearby enemies. And then when you cast, when you attack with a weapon, reduces the magic resistance of nearby nearby enemies within only 10 feet for 15 percent per second. Um, and then we also have some added uh, magicka resistance reduction to our bound weapons. Which I think is in the form of hollow binding. And this one's strong. 30% for 5 seconds. Okay. Um, oh, and then even further with this perk. If we control any summon minions. All right, so that's awesome. Let's, uh, but for now, let's go ahead and uh, sleep until twilight, which is either, well, I think, which I think is 5 a.m. So we'll sleep for three hours, get some rest. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna pray to our Lady Azura. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura. Brownie points to anybody who knows that reference. Okay, so let's switch over to our prey, which I believe we have set to double click down. Uh, there we go. The Wondrous Twilight empowers you. Okay, so we're up to 34%, which isn't a bad increase. I think we were at 28% um, or something before. That'll get better. Um, we're not gonna be able to discover new locations. <laughs> Uh, because I've already toggled all the map markers on. Um, but that's okay. We know what it does. Okay, now, since we're nocturnal, we're going to go ahead and sleep a good uh, 12, 13 hours would be 6 p.m., 14 hours would be 7 p.m. That'll give us another chance to, to pray. Now, I don't know if praying any more than once in a 24-hour period does anything, but we'll see. What were we at? Like 36%, 33% before? Let's see if this helps. Thirty-four percent. Okay, so it went up a little bit. Not bad. We didn't get the whole wondrous twilight message, but and we got a, we got a very small step, but it still did work. Okay, so now I've slept for probably close to twenty hours at this point. He's probably very hungry. Really thirsty. Well sated, though. We'll have some village red wine and some water. How did that do? There we go. You know what's funny, and I need, I'm not sure if it has to do with my time scale settings or whatever, but it doesn't seem to matter how thirsty. Uh, what do you want? Um, Why should I want anything? Oh, jeez, what a distracting conversation. <laughs> how thirsty the character is, if I drink twice, he seems to be well hydrated. I don't know if that's a bug or, like I said, a conflict with the time scale that I have set. But uh, that is what it is. I don't really mind. Whatever. At least I still have to drink uh, and eat to be satisfied. But, okay, I think uh, we can go grab these books again. And that's going to be at Felglow Keep, I believe. Do I have this active? Hitting the books. Oh, this is nice, too. The teleportation marker shows up on the uh, on the miscellaneous quest list so we can we can find it on our map okay and then the shallow doors insight and the the find the books uh, quests are given by Urag. may as well they usually give some interesting places to go for a mage uh, it's one of the radiant quest systems that I don't really mind uh, okay <clears throat> but first we got some books to find at um, Falco keep so let's go do that. Okay, so we have... Um... Oh, no, no, no. I forgot to... Uh... There we go. And we probably don't want to fight a flame Atronach with uh, with flames, so let's switch to sparks here. Looks like we got some 
Oh boy, it's really dark here too. This is gonna be rough. Flamboyant bastard. Oh yeah, we didn't... We didn't have to zap the Atronach, did we? We could have just dispelled him immediately. Okay, we're healing. Let's heal up. <clears throat> um, now, this isn't a roleplay series, but I do like to at least talk about roleplay now and then. Um, it doesn't seem like Restoration would fit with uh, an Oblivion-obsessed Conjurer. But if he has favor with a Daedric Lord, I, I think it's plausible. Oh boy. Did I seriously just die? <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, what setting am I playing on? Okay, we don't need to play on Expert. Let's go back down to Adept. Um, if we have favor with a Daedric Lord, it, it does it seem plausible that um, just as much as we can, we can kind of draw uh, items and entities and minions from Oblivion, we can probably draw power from that too, in the form of added health or any other kind of buff that the Restoration Tree might, might bestow upon us. Um, hitting the books. Uh, back to Felco. Here we go. Okay, let's be ready this time. All right. That was really irresponsible of you guys to go in there without being prepared. Um, just have to let you know that. So sparks, I think I can hit sparks by uh, holding on to my left key. There we go. Um, and I also realized that I hadn't had any uh, Atronach summoned. So let's go ahead and oh, we got to set up our. Uh, Oh, I'm so unprepared for this, aren't I? Let's uh, let's get some use out of our Frost Atronox now. Switch our Flame Atronox over to... Uh, hotkey over to Frost Atronox. Where are we here? Conjure, Frost Atronox, we're going to set that to 5. We should be able to get 3 of them. Unless we're at uh, 500 Magicka, which we are. Now, I want to try casting a fourth Atronach. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So, let me explain why I was doing that here. So, we have a perk here that uh, is Edge of Oblivion, which gives us one extra Atronach that we can summon. Um, and the the trade-off for that is that we become weaker if we don't have anything summoned. So that gives us two that we can summon. March of Oblivion up here gives us one additional minion per 250 points of base magicka. So I wasn't really sure what base magicka meant. Um, so if we have, like, our pool right now of magicka is 500. So we should be able to addition, um, conjure two additional minions in addition to the two that we were able to cast um, with March of, I'm sorry, not March of Oblivion, Edge of Oblivion. So if we really had 500 available, uh, and if that 500 were actually the base Magicka number that were being used for this, um, we should be able to get four total minions. But since we can't, that means that this green number here for Magicka is uh, is not our base Magicka, and that's not what's being used to calculate the number of minions we can have through this perk. Um, I'm not sure if there's a console command or any easy way to find out what our base Magicka actually is. Um, the only way I can think of doing it right now is going into active effects and counting up all the different magic buffs that we have and then subtracting that from this 503 number, which we can do right now. Uh, let's go ahead and give that a shot. 
see how much farther we have to go before we can summon a fourth minion. One point. Uh, Alter Self, so Magicka increases Magicka by 50 points, that's a big one, that, that knocks us back down to 453. Very Diet, Stamina and Magicka are increased by 3 points, so there's that extra 3 there. Well Hydrated, just Regeneration, Well Sated, just Fatigue and Health Regeneration Damage Output. Restore 5 points of health, Magicka, and Stamina. Okay, so yeah, 53 is the magic number there. So we are actually at uh, 450 for our base Magicka. So we have another 5 levels to go before um, we can we can conjure a 4th Adronach. And that is um, if we take uh, Magicka for our attribute to increase each time. Okay, so let's get back to our bound weapon. And... Um, Shock in the left hand there. All right, so I'm gonna make a quick save. Uh, let's go ahead and, and wait just uh, an hour to see if, okay, visibility increases a little bit. Not not too much more, but I, I can see a bit. Uh, okay, so back to Felglow. It's been a few days since I played too, so my uh, my camera thumb is a little rusty. So you might see me swinging this uh, electricity all over the place. Sword didn't want to summon the first time, nor did it last time. Remember? Okay. Oh, not a lot of reach on this thing. Either. Okay, now we gain the attention of the Flame Atronox, it looks like. And where are my uh, Frost Atronox? Oh, they're way the hell over there. What are they doing? Um, let's conjure some new ones up here. That's terrible. These things can be very unruly. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed that. And there they go, running away again. Why are they so useless? Where are they going? <laughs> I'm so annoyed. So angry. Really? You gonna do me like that? Were you guys really chasing this thing all the way up here? Oh, what a shit show. There we go. Really, you guys? You're so afraid. Now, I haven't seen any kind of perks or anything that affect, um... Fear statuses on conjured minions. Oh, here we go. Go ahead and dismiss that guy. He might explode, though. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna quick save that. Oh, those lot. Oh, you guys are making me sweat. Do you have stock in like the deodorant companies or something? Because, ugh, worst minions ever. All right. You guys got a lot to make up for. I'm gonna earn my confidence back, or I'm going back to the flame astronauts. Okay, where's this other? She was an Adept Conjurer or something, wasn't she? Yeah. Here we go. Couldn't remember what my hotkey for instincts was.
Okay. Well. Let's get back to it, shall we? We got a dungeon to clear. No more complaining. Now, I do realize that I have a single um, non dual cast Adrenoch running around up there, so he's not going to last as long. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Just make sure that we can count three at all times. Hmm, okay, this is familiar. Uh, I'm getting uh, memories of Bjorn here from Aralos. So let's uh, toggle collision. Get right in there. And there we go. I don't know, is it me or is the sword more powerful than the bound sword that we normally use? I think it is, it feels stronger. Um, I also did turn the difficulty level down recently, so that could have something to do with it, I suppose. Got anything good in here? Doesn't look like it, does it? Alright, we got some souls from- oh, we got some potions up here too that we might be able to use. I uh, got some souls from the spiders there. Um, whoa. Where's the trigger for that? Okay, it's right there. Let's try to avoid that. stuff and a valuable knife not too bad uh, I think we're gonna leave the vampires alone you can release them and they will fight on your behalf um, but we're testing the character we're not testing uh, exploitative game mechanics okay quick save just in case and here we go that's what I said. Okay. We still have all our minions here. I see two Atronauts. Do I have a third? I don't see a third one. May as well go ahead and conjure one, shall we? Uh, let's see. That was... Holdright? There we go. There we go. I'll get these sequences down pretty quickly, I think. And, uh... You won't have to suffer through me switching stuff around nearly as much, I think. Oh, I hear, uh... Werewolves, too, it sounds like. Or just regular wolves. That's right. There are regular wolves that they have trapped. Along with Orthorn. All right, where am I going? Where am I going? This way, I believe. Quick save. Wolves, oh, really? We're missing a couple of Adrenox here, too. I hear them stomping around over there. Oh, yeah, there they are. Well, if they get stuck, then uh, we'll be able to figure that out. Oh, you saved me. Thank you so much. Who knows what they'd have done to me if you hadn't come along? I promise I'll help you get out of here. Um, I just want the books, buddy. The 
books. Oh, I see. I, I thought perhaps. Well, I thought you'd come for me. <laughs> but yes, the books. The caller will have them. She was most interested in one of the volumes. Although not interested enough to keep me from being locked up. Um. Well, you should get yourself to safety. Don't you need my help? Uh, no. If you don't get away from me right now, I may kill you myself. I was only trying to help you, you know. Oh, yeah. I hope the collar turns you inside out. Ooh. Um. I don't need the collar to turn me inside out. I just had a breakfast burrito for lunch. And I think that will do the job just fine. Alright, you frosty bastards, get on my way. Means we gotta conjure another one. There we go. Alright, okay. What's in here? Out of there, get out. Alright, do we have a <laughs> we need a potion? Standard draft of health. How about that? Standard potion of health. We'll take both. Looks like my animation got stuck in the uh, firing animation there, huh? Okay. Not a bad look. Go ahead and quick save here. Again, we're having the same issue with uh, big conjures and small areas. I don't know where that other guy went. There was a second or a third dude, wasn't there? Is he in here? You get the oblivion suplex. Who's next? Yeah, that's the problem with the Frost Atronox, is that they're, uh, they're so bulky. They have trouble navigating the terrain sometimes. Just means you gotta summon more minions, I suppose, more often, which isn't terrible. We could refresh our stock anyway here. Okay, just looting this stuff up. Soul gem is useful, that's for sure. Pray zombie, why not? Okay, quick save. Summon up our, uh, oops. That was wrong. <laughs> uh... There we go. Fell glow keep proper. Excuse me. Familiars, really? That's all you got? Amateurs. Do 
Did not want the iron dagger. I guess that was a tonto. What is this though? Doors of Oblivion. Okay, this was the uh, the book that we read to get the Hermaeus Mora temptation before, but doesn't seem to be responsive to us again. Ooh, and soul gems. Definitely taking these. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh the old uh, Daemon. Quick save. Here you are. Yeah, I think it uh, when we died outside of Felgo Glow Keep when we fast traveled in, I think it had less to do with the difficulty level that we were on and more to do with the fact that um, our Edge of Oblivion pen penalty was active. Which is quite a severe debuff if you don't have any conjured minions. Ooh, Alt Mary Axe Staff. That looks impressive. Really? Your minions mean nothing to me. Alright. Okay, guys. Oh, that was actually an unbound uh, Atronach. One of the rare ones. They do seem to inhabit areas with conjurers in it, though, even though they don't seem to be conjured. Well, I guess they're conjured, they're just not bound, huh? What else do we have in here? May as well take advantage of the Enchanter. There was the Enchanted Battle Axe that we picked up in a previous room there. Some more Soul Gems, let's go ahead and grab those, those are always useful. Quicksilver ingots are valuable. Anything else in here? Don't think so. Uh, excuse me, buddy. Alright, who's next? Now, the additional power that, um... Damn it. Am I not... Am I casting duds on my blade here, or is that or was I accidentally casting Atronachs? Probably the latter. Okay, still not super easy on Adept even. I have a feeling, though, that once we start taking on some stronger spells, this will get easier and easier. Ooh, what's this? Now, we don't have uh, Xarxes as our uh, deity anymore, so we're not going to get an extra skill point for any of these skill books, but still taking them anyway. They're still helpful. Destruction does still seem to be leveling slowly. Um, I'm still considering boosting that a bit in the uncapper config but we're not focusing on destruction just yet so not too concerned about it let's go ahead and refresh our sword here there we go nobody napping in here all that stuff, though. Back it up, Frosty. Oh yeah, I was saying, um, I think that the uh, secondary power of the Frost Atronox are just straight debuffs. I think they might be stamina and Magicka debuff debuffs? I don't remember. We'll look into that. 
Let's do that right now. Ooh, we got another level. I didn't even realize. Um, it happens so often now. Okay, so only three levels away from a fourth Atronach now. That's awesome. Uh, we did want to save two perks for um, our home Mythal, but I think... Oh, Alteration's at 100, too. So now we can take that Nullifying Field, which is going to make the... Uh, oh, no, we already have Nullifier. Arcane Thesis? Grants the Arcane Thesis power. Use it to master the spell you're dual casting. All mas The master spell is 20% more powerful or lasts 40% longer. Only one spell can be mastered. Is that at a time or ever? Does the power cease to exist? Well, let's try it. I've been doing some thinking on this one, and I think I would like to master the Spark spell. So let's... Uh... Oh, which means that we have to actually take the dual casting perk in destruction, which I don't mind doing. Um, now we got to find our power. Arcane Desis. Out of combat, master the spell you're currently dual casting. A master spell is 20% more powerful or lasts 40% longer. Um, yeah, and I've been doing some thinking on this, and I think... Oops. Anything? Did that work? Out of combat, master the spell you're currently dual casting. Mastered spell is 20% more powerful or last 40% longer. Am I actually dual casting this? Yes. Okay, so let's try again. There we go. Spell master. Okay. Um, and I wanted an electric, uh, the uh, shock spell, um, because um, they have, shock spells have less resistance. I'm sorry, there are less enemies with shock resistance than any other kind of resistance, I believe. You know what? I have a built-in way to dismiss these minions, don't I? Let's go ahead and use that. Um, so there are less enemies with shock resistance than any other kind of resistance. And uh, it creates some synergy with the Void burn effect. Um, because, excuse me, let me get these summons back here. Because the void burn effect doesn't actually start doing health damage until it has depleted the stamina and magic stores of uh, of your enemies. So, if we can reduce our magic stores and our enemies the mu as much as possible, that, that helps us deal more damage, ultimately, with our, uh, with our Bound Blade. Okay. I think we're good there. Uh, we do have some more perks to take, though, so let's do that. Uh, destruction. We're pretty much topped off on Alteration now, except for the Dimensional Door. So let's go ahead and use two perks on Ionized Path and Merciless Cold. Now one more level and we'll be able to fill out the secondary um, uh, elemental improvement perks. I probably won't go too much farther down any of these trees um, just because I have not seen much synergy in there. Um, it's just... Each one of these trees further down, these perks, they do a great job of improving um, destruction spells in those elements. But they don't really provide anything more um, or any kind of interesting interactions with anything in the Conjuration or Alteration uh, skill trees. So I'm just going to use those perks on something else that, that is a little more interesting. Um, we have enough debuffs and everything through our conjured weapons that um, that I think that our uh, our the perks that we're we're taking now for our basic uh, destruction spells will be good enough. Um, 
Okay, so I think that's it for the level up. Uh, what do we say? Two more levels before we get to... Um, two more levels in Magicka before we get we can cast uh, four Atronox. I like it. Um, all right, where are we going here? Quick save, just because I don't I don't know what to expect here. Shrine to Julianos, which would be interesting. That might be a decent uh, starting deity. I did like Xarxes though, for any kind of mage. Especially uh, studious, researchy type mages. There's a bunch of spell research equipment in there. Alright, guys, come on. Right in the way. Ready for action. Okay, now we are very close to our clandestine meeting with the caller. Go and head and take some of the good stuff we have here. A couple of scrolls, a couple of potions. Looks like it. Quick save, and let's go in. So you're the one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. How nice Yep, to that meet was you. me. That sounded sarcastic. What a dick. Uh, look, I'm just here for the books. So you're just one of Aaron's lackeys. That's disappointing. You show real promise. You come here, kill my assistants, disrupt my work. You've annoyed me. So I don't think I'll be giving you anything. Uh, how about no? What happened to my own Atronox? That's annoying, yeah? No mercy. Okay, so the survivability on my own was actually pretty encouraging. I thought that the Atronachs were going to follow me in. I wonder if this is actually uh, technically the same cell in the game. Uh, as where I came from. So... That would explain why the Atronachs didn't follow me through the door, because they were still in the same area, technically. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a, a hard script trigger in the game to dispel any, uh, any Atronachs that you might have active before you go in with this fight. In any case, went a little more smoothly than I expected. Um, and I think there was some kind of bedroom area or something in here, right? With a big old chest. Is that through the next door? Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, okay. We'll take that. We'll take those. We'll take this. We'll take these. We'll take all the enchanted gear and the money. And this apple. I'm taking this apple and this squash. Try to stop me. Alright, we're out of here. Okay, is there a quick way out of here from this room? Oh, there's more... More assholes to kill in here. 
Excellent. I wonder why he was running into the bathroom. I wonder what he was going to do in there. Okay. Mission accomplished. We got the books. Um, I think that's going to do it for this episode, and we are just over three minutes ahead of schedule. How about that? Not too shabby. Okay, so as I said, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we were able to... Uh, ooh, we got another level up. Um, actually, if I'm doing the math right now, we still need another two uh, levels to have the, enough Magicka for a fourth Daedra or a fourth minion. Um, yeah, so I think that does it for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, this last perk in Merciless Cold so that we can, we can forget about destruction for a while. Um, next episode... Well, I, okay, off-camera, I'm going to go back to the college and, um, and advance the quest a little bit farther. Um, we've all been through that quest a million times, most likely. Uh, sorry if you're trying to watch this uh, for the story. <laughs> um, there, are, there are better ways to do that. Um, for now, we're just mainly focusing on levels and perks. Um, but yeah, so I'll do that off camera, and then we'll do whatever's next. Um, but that should open up uh, Tolf Deer. Um, and his... Uh, stock of high-level alteration spells that we can purchase from him, including an upgraded um, either Iron Flesh or maybe even uh, Ebony Flesh, if we can get it. Um, I don't know if there's anything else in alteration that we want to mess around with. Um, what else? Oh, we still have to go do the whole Mythal thing at Ryak's End. Uh, but I think Conjuration is pretty much done. All we have to do is wait for our magical levels to catch up to the March of Oblivion perk so we can start taking uh, more minions. Destruction is filled out, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, Alteration is filled up once we have Home Mythal out of the way. We don't have to worry about that anymore either. Is there anything else over here we can take? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like we're set in Alteration also. Which means we can start focusing on... Um, well, we have three options here. We have Illusion, which I'm really excited about. I think there's some really strong synergy in there. Uh, Restoration, which has um, some symmetry... or I'm sorry, synergy as well, uh, just not quite as much. Um, and Enchanting, which does have some strong synergy there, and it's just super useful anyway. So, yeah, I think we'll probably be focusing on Illusion next. Or maybe Enchanting. Enchanting's definitely already at 100, so that's going to be less of an ordeal. Uh, and then we're going to have to buy some Illusion spells anyway to get this leveled up as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's on the agenda going forward. Uh, I'll see you at Ryak's End next episode, and until then, take care. Bye.